I was on the phone to mum to find out if there was any news. And then all of a sudden she said, oh, Don, there's three officers, they've actually walked in towards here. And it was very much, are you Jack Taylor's mum and dad? Yeah, he's dead. And then to hear that scream was just, um, yeah, I will, I will live with that for the rest of my life. He was our little brother, but like our big brother, always looked after us, always looked after all the family. Just life and soul of our family, wasn't it? We'd said that he didn't take drugs, yeah, that's 100% he didn't. We was worried, are the police doing their job? Why haven't they been in contact with us? Like we had absolutely no support whatsoever because they made assumptions of what had happened to Jack. They just thought he had taken drugs, he had overdosed, there was nothing suspicious there. Stephen Paul took Jack's life um, and was able to take Jack's life because that's the long and short of it. He was able to. He was allowed to because they could have caught him way before. If they'd looked into anything at all, then they could have saved other lives. There were a range of mistakes. I think there was a combination of a need for more professional curiosity, so really thinking through, are there alternative explanations for what has happened? And then there were some inquiries that should have been carried out more quickly and perhaps more thoroughly. Those came together in a dreadful way, uh, really to let down the families of these victims and these victims themselves, and I'm tremendously sorry about that. Jack should still be here. How many missed opportunities they had to catch him, and they didn't.